In this video, I will show you that how you can view your order history, open order history, your trading history, and your all transaction of the OKX OK exchange. Also, I will show you that how you can view the P2P pending order history and completed order history on OKX OK exchange. So, if you want to see your order history on the Binance application, on the KuCoin application, or BitKit application, you can find the links from the description and you can find the separate playlist on this channel. So, let's come on the mobile screen. So I have opened OKS application on my cell phone. So this is the dashboard of the OKS application. I have already logged in my account. So to see your open order history, transaction history, trade history, you have to come on the assets. On asset, you can see a VRRB overview tab. On overview tab, there is a history option. Click on it. So here you will see asset and trading. So if you want to see your deposit history, withdrawal history, and P2P transaction details, not P2P deals, but P2P transaction details, then you can press asset. But if you want to see your trading history, future history, sport transactions, margin, then you have to click on the trading. But let me show you first withdrawal and deposit history. But let me first show you in the assets. So here you can see on asset, you will find the history of your deposit and withdrawal and whatever you have received from your affiliate commission. Just like I have received some commission or fee rebate USDT. So I have all deposit history here. So if you want to see a specific history, just press assets and you can select that which assets you want to see. Like USDT, BTC or any other asset you want to see. I want to see all assets. So you have to select assets. Now which type of history you want to see? Press type. So here you can see at deposit, withdraw, transfer in, transfer out, loyalty points. All are available here. Let's say we want to see withdrawal. So here you can see we have withdrawal 5 USDT on the 11 15 2023. If you want to see deposit, just click on the deposit and deposit history is there. If you want to see all your history, press all. You can also adjust your history according to dates. You click on the date. So here you can see. You can view your order history from the last 90 days. You can see some filters like 7 days history, 30 days history, 90 days history. So it will be there. Just like seven days three. So in the seven days we have received some affiliate commission which is there. So from this section you can see your all withdrawal, deposit, P2P transaction, your all withdrawal and deposit. Does not matter it is affiliate commission, fee rebate cards or anything. It will be here. Press back button. If, now if you want to see your open order history, your tradings, then you have to click on the trading. So here you can see there are multiple tips for the trading. If you come on the open orders, so here you will see your all open orders. If, just like if you have put some limit orders, market orders, advanced limit orders, PPSL orders, all will be present here. Currently, we don't have any open orders, so it is not available here. On order history, so here you can see your completed order history. Just like we have used TPSL to buy, we have used market to sell, limit order for the buy. So all this history you can see here. If you click on the any coin, you will see further details that which coin you have purchased, what was the status, what was the date, how much coin you have received and how much the value of the coin, what was the fee price. You will find all the details here. Similarly, there are multiple tabs. Just like if you want to see just limit and market order, just click on here. Or if you want to see TP and SL, which means take profit and stop limit orders, you can see here. Or if you want to see trailing stop orders, you can see here. Now, if you click on the instrument filter, it shows that which order you want to see, just like all orders, sport order, prefectual, which means future orders, expiry orders, margin or option order. Currently, we are viewing all the orders. If you want to see any specific order, you can select the filter. Now, if you click on the sample, all right. Now, if you click on the filter button, here you can set the time range. That is how much old history you want to see, just like last seven days history, a last 90 days history. You can also adjust the dates. Now, if you come on the assets, the asset tab will show you that which coin you have available. Just like I have TNAB and USDT. So it is showing here. You can see whatever asset you have available. So you can see here that any coin which you have available in trading, you will see here. Currently, I have only two coins. So these are here. Now, if you want to see your trading history, transaction history, you can find here. So, I am on the transaction history tab. So here you can see our old transaction history. Just like recently we have done a transaction for the USDT. If you, the pair was BTC slash USDT, the order type was buy. We have buy USDT for 11.78 USDT. And how much fee we have paid? 0 0.0117590 fee. So 
In this way, you can find your all history here. If you click on the all asset, here you can select the asset that which asset history you want to see. Currently, I want to see all assets here. If you come on the instrument, you can see that you want port history, expiry history. If you click on the instrument, you will see your all history here. If you click on the type, you can select that which type order you want to see. Just like buy order, sale order, trading board order. If you come on the ongoing board tab, so here you will see the board orders and here is the board history. Similarly, there are same filters are available. How you can view your trading history, open order history and P2P history. So in this way, you can find your trading history, your open order history, your asset from here. Now, if you want to see your pending P2P orders, your completed P2P orders, then come on the dashboard, click on OK. Now we have to come on the P2P tab. To find the P2P tab, on the left side, click on the dot and here you have to click P2P trading. Click on it. On the bottom, you can find the orders. Click on the orders. So on the order, you will see your completed P2P orders and pending orders. Currently, we are on the completed P2P orders. So you can see that we have sent some USDT. You can see the details and we have also buy some USDT. If you click on the transaction, so you will find your further details that you saw it 50 USDT sell usdt what was the unit price quantity order amount what was the buyer name what was the order id if you press the back button so using the filter button you can find the more options that you want to see your buy history and sell history you can also specify your debts similarly if you want to see your pending history you can click on the pending and here you will see your pending orders so i hope you understood that how you can find your trading history open order history assets in your P2P history. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.